Aaron, thank you. Alamance Burlington Schools is wrapping up a clean air project funded by COVID relief money from the federal government. The school system says this project is not in response to the mold that was found in most of its buildings at the start of last school year, but school officials say the project and other changes will help prevent mold issues from returning in the future. Chris Peterson got a tour of Turrentine Middle School in Burlington to see what's new and how these changes are all aimed at keeping students and teachers healthy and safe. School officials say contractors have been working hard on clean air projects in several schools with the goal of bringing clean air in and keeping mold out. We do checks. We've asked the, the, the school administration during the summer to do daily walks of their schools. Alamance Burlington Schools Chief Operating Officer Greg Hook says on top of daily checks of the buildings, air conditioning units are running 24 hours a day in every school, something the school system hasn't done in the past. So by running it around the clock, uh, we're able to uh, prevent having fluctuations uh, in dew points in humidity, which would cause condensation and, and the issues that come along with that. Dehumidifiers are also running 24 hours a day during the summer and hooked up to the fan cool unit so they don't have to empty out the water. That's called a DOES system. As part of the elementary and secondary school emergency relief project, eight schools received new dedicated outside air systems designed to pump fresh air into classrooms. We're providing fresh air uh, to, to all the students and to the staff throughout the day, which is a piece we didn't have. Uh, it wasn't part of the, the building codes back when they, they built this school. Hook says the federally funded project and the changes in the way schools are being cooled over the summer will help prevent a mold situation like the one that delayed school and cost millions of dollars to clean up. But there are no guarantees. I don't think anyone could guarantee that you wouldn't experience a, an issue, but we're, our goal is to prevent and mitigate any issues to make sure that uh, we're aware and promptly addressing anything that, that may come up. And they hope to have these projects completed by the beginning of the school year, which is August 26th. In Burlington, I'm Chris Peterson, WXII 12 News.